In this week's edition of Tutorial Tuesday, I'm going to talk about pitch. Uh, what it's used for, its different properties, uh, different grades of pitch, etc. So first I'll start with what exactly pitch is. Pitch is a product that it could either be uh, based from um, pine rosin or it can be based from an asphalt base. And uh, what it does is it creates a support backing for you to hammer on or um, creates a work holding surface. Um, the advantages of using pitch over say uh, a rubber plate or lead or something like that which are other things that uh, people hammer on is it does two things. It holds your piece in place as well as gives it a background um, that's hard enough to get detail but soft enough to move when you hit it. Um, so if you were using say lead for instance um, it has about the same ductility as pitch maybe a little bit softer but um, it uh, it's not going to hold your piece in place so then you're going to have to use a clamping system or something like that to be able to hold your piece down um, to be able to use two hands because when you're chasing or engraving or whatever you're doing um, typically you're using two hands one hand for the tool um, and the other hand for the hammer um, so that's where pitch comes in. It holds your piece in place as well as gives you a nice solid background to hammer on. Uh, there's different grades of pitch. Like I said, there's rosin based pitch and there's uh, asphalt based pitch. Uh, the asphalt based pitch is, um, it works really well. It's really sticky. Um, it moves well, but uh, it's really toxic and really nasty stuff. So all the pitch that I make is uh, based uh, with rosin, which uh, comes from trees. So all my stuff's all natural. Um, and basically pitch, uh, it's really heat sensitive. You heat it up, it gets soft. You cool it down, it gets hard. You can see here, you know, this one's backed with pitch. And it creates a nice, solid surface to hammer on. But when you come over here and heat it up a little bit with, say, a heat gun, all of a sudden it's warm and sticky um, and so that allows you to heat it up sink your piece in there it'll hold on to it and then it'll cool down and um, create a nice hard surface for you to hammer onto so um, based on it being heat sensitive I create uh, well now four different grades of pitch um, there's a hard a medium and a soft of my California red pitch and there's an extra hard, which is uh, the Japanese uh, black um, blend of Matsuyani. So, <clears throat> the hard um, I created when I lived in Southern California in the summertime. And say, you know, 90 degree weather, 90, you know, 90 to 100 degrees, somewhere in there. It works great. It creates a nice solid background um, backing that you can hammer onto. But it was also um, soft enough that when you want to get that depth and um, in the repose process, that it'll give without uh, being too hard and too brittle and won't shatter. So that worked great. And then in the winter time, it seemed like it was a little bit too um, too hard uh, and started to get a little bit brittle. So I created this soft, which I also use for uh, high relief stuff when I really want to move the metal um, in far distances. Uh, I use the soft because uh, that uh, it gives a lot more. It's a lot softer. And it also works great in cold temperatures. Um, so if you're you know, in a colder climate working in your garage and it's you know, 60 degrees or something, uh, you're probably going to want to go with the soft. Um, the medium, it works great at around you know, that 70 to you know, 65 to 80 degrees kind of range um, this is the perfect stuff because it's uh, it's again you're looking for that perfect mix between hard enough to get your detail but soft enough to move when you want it to um, this Matsuyani is extremely hard and uh, it's not really used for repose 
unless you heat it up. Um, the only way you're going to be able to get it to move is uh, when you heat it up and um, then you can work it hot, but it's kind of messy when you do that. Um, but it's really hard, so what this is used for is you heat it up, and you sink your piece in here and then it really sticky and grabs onto your piece so if you want to do engraving or you're doing hammer, hammer and chisel engraving or carving um, stuff like that that's that's really what this stuff is used for and again you can heat it up and work it hot if you really want to move the metal but um, it's mostly used for uh, work holding or if you want to do just the finest detail stuff um, it creates a really hard solid backing when you do it um, so I think that's about it as far as um, pitch is concerned. Um, a lot of people, you know, when you take your piece out of the pitch, a lot of people ask, you know, how do I get the, the pitch off my piece? There's a few different ways to do that. Um, you can use a, a solvent like acetone or lacquer thinner works really well. Um, you could burn it off when you're annealing your piece, because typically you're going to anneal. Uh, a lot of people use chapstick or um, stuff like that, a, a wax on the backing to prevent it from sticking. I personally like it to be stuck as firmly as possible, so I don't do that. And I just, uh, I just burn it off when I'm done. But um, yeah, I think that's a basic overview of what pitch is used for and its uh, different grades. Um, if you have any questions, comments, or things you'd like me to talk about in the future, please let me know. I hope you've uh, enjoyed this week's edition of Tutorial Tuesday. I'll see you next week.